Alright, so we are here in Mexico City. We are just south of the city and we are currently um, not doing any work. But Pedro is working very hard to push our way through the canals and the swamps and part of the ecological area that they have, which actually I think may be a UNESCO site. Um, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here uh, for something much creepier than that. Um, I've made my way here to chase a legend uh, of a place called the Island of the Dolls or Isla de Muñeques. Uh, the story goes that a man named Solomon on this island um, had a girl that tried to, uh, well she didn't try to, but she did. She ended up drowning and he was unable to save her despite his best efforts. Um, after she passed, eerily enough, a doll washed up on the shore the next day, and he was a bit frightened by that. He decided, I'll hang this doll, uh, thinking that it will protect uh, himself or keep the girl away, um, but every day another doll kept washing up. Uh, there are many versions of this story. This is the version I like the best. Um, and as these dolls washed up, he continued to hang them in the trees, to display them on the island, um, to sort of, I don't know if he was trying to entertain her spirit or protect himself, uh, who knows. Um, but that is uh, the, the background. And since then, um, apparently these dolls whisper to each other and they call people to the island. And apparently they've called me here because I'm in the middle of Mexico uh, chasing an island filled with dolls. So. That's what we're going to do here. It is uh, 5.56, sun sets at 8 p.m. It's about two hours to get there, so we're going to get there just in time to get some good photography, I hope, um, and then a little bit of an opportunity there after dark so that in the uh, blackness and stillness we can experience if uh, these legends are true. So, that's the plan. We're getting close. <laughs> Welcome soon to Isla de Muñeques. Here we are. We have officially arrived at Isla de Muñeques. Island of the Dolls. I'd like to introduce you to some of my friends. for her. So here we are, we are actually at uh, Isla de Muñecas and uh, boy, we are surrounded by a bunch of really, really creepy dolls. Uh, we have white dolls, we have black dolls, we have burnt dolls, we have melted dolls, we have body List dolls, we have Barbie dolls, we have cobweb covered dolls, we have colorful dolls and naked dolls. We have all kinds of dolls here. I don't hear them whispering yet, but I would not be surprised if I stayed the night here if that might just happen. So, uh, let's take a look at things. for the, the creepiest baby of the island uh, and I have two runners up at least in this uh, uh, shelter that I'm in um, first creepy baby winner is the farmer uh, looks like she's had a little bit too much Sun and working a little too hard 
That is pretty darn creepy. Next runner-up is the lady who's worried about spilling food. So she's got her little bib on. Oh my god, if her eyes open right now, I swear to god, I will be swimming back. Yep, that's a pretty creepy one. You've got to put your other sock on. You might get cold tonight. You might get cold. this very morbid theme here with all of these dolls. I mean, this one's got a spike through the eye, this one's got a spike through the eye, this one's got spikes through the chest and the abdomen. We've got ones over here that have spikes right through uh, the face. Most of them are just flat out nailed to the tree, but it's kind of odd because I don't think this is something that's gonna uh, provide comfort to the spirit of the drowned child probably scare them away, which might actually be the point. I think it would work well. Christmas little girl, Santa's here to find out if you've been naughty. Okay, now, uh, this is weird. I did not touch this doll. I did not touch this doll. <laughs> <laughs> not touch this doll at all. And she's just, uh, I turn around, she's spinning behind me. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, it could be the current, the wind. There's really not any wind right now. But she's kind of flying through the air here like a dead angel. Oh my god, please don't open your eyes. Ooh, I swear to god, I did not touch that. <laughs> That's weird. That's really weird. Can't explain. There's another thing that just freaks me out. I turned around and I swear this looks like. I mean, there's actually a. Uh, this, uh, styrofoam head. You can see here. It looks like there's somebody there. If it weren't for. Seen that star from the head, I would have really wondered. Oh my lord, I have gone to hell. Wow. And just like that, we are leaving Isla de Neca. Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, ladies. We'll see you later. And Pedro is waiting for me on his white horse. Adios. So that about concludes our adventure to Isla Mujeres. Uh, it's creepy, yeah, but I would definitely go back actually spoke with the guy that is running it. Um, the uh, nephew of Don Julian, the one that founded it, and I've got permission to come back and spend the night. So, that will be another adventure. And uh, I'm sure that will be very interesting as well. So, cheers.
sé si ya debe haber ahí compañeros que te dan servicios que ya no tanto, ya no hay. 